Hello, Pestilence here. And I've, I've been trying to decode uh, this six wheel lock. I'm not exactly sure how old it is. Um, it could be, uh, could be Victorian, late Victorian, maybe, uh, could be French. Uh, it's hard to really say. Uh, what I do know is that uh, I tried and I tried and I tried. And uh, it's really funny because on one wheel, they do repeat, but it spells out Texas on the wheel. Kind of odd. So, I have uh, I've taken advice from uh, some people that I, I have a lot of respect for, like Potty314, and uh, tried uh, some of their decoding methods. Unfortunately, um, I wasn't able to get those to work. It's, I could get maybe the first two wheels, and then uh, and then I couldn't put enough uh, pressure on it to uh, to get the other wheels to do anything to bind. What I had done in in the past uh, that didn't get me anywhere was to take I don't know if you can actually see this. I took a tie, like from a baggie, and I stripped it off down to the bare metal because there's really very, very little room in between the wheels. And I put a little hook on it. And so what I would do is insert that in between the wheels. I would turn the bottom wheel and I would put pressure on it, turning it until the hook would fall into the gate. And then I would move it back and forth to see where, what letters the gate affected. And what I found was on the first wheel, it was uh, the letters J and R. And so I did that for all six. And once I had done that, I mean, I, I did it in the past. And I took the letters that, you know, and I, I uh, let's see, I took it like this. And then I put in, you know, J and or put an R and you know it, it didn't spell anything and then uh, it dawned on me that J and R here um, that that's not where the gate is that the gate would be opposite them which is what I found out uh, for some reason the gate is opposite the letters where I thought I found the gate. Anyway, um, I did that for all six, and then I counted an equal number from each letter going in the opposite direction, and the common letter that it's it came to, I put it down. Stop it. And what it spelled out was Smanda. And I said, what? Smanda, you know, that doesn't make any sense. So I, I had S-M-A-N-D-A. And then uh, the wheels, they turn pretty freely, and it turned down one, and it turned to Amanda. Well, it turned uh, to A, which spelled Amanda. So if I can get those all lined up. And once I had Amanda in there, it opened up. So you can see the gates there. And so the gate is where the letters were that I had. Maybe I can get close that close enough. And here's the piece that goes in there. So the letters, <clears throat> the gate is where the letters were that I found, but opposite that is the, where you have to put the, the letter, line them up. And that's, uh, so that's what I did. And, ta-da! So, 
I, I had tried different things. I thought, well, if it's a French lock, then maybe it's a French river or a French city. And then I thought about different countries around the world. Um, then I had uh, looked up six-letter words. There's uh, different web pages that have six-letter words, uh, combinations for every letter of the alphabet. And so I was looking through those and trying those and nothing, 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 nothing. So then I decided to go back again and, uh, and try using this hook and going in between there and uh, finding each, each gate. And success. So that's how that happened. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and uh, stay legal. Bye.